Hello and welcome to Board Game Inquisition, where we're here to offer you insight and indeed information about your board games. Have you got any interest in delving through dungeon floors with gory, horrifying monsters simply to try and make it out and survive? Well, if so, here's five things I think you'll need to know about. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> Uh, the gigantically box and titled Power Edition's Mouth, a pistol ripped. Per Edition's Mouth of Bissell Rift from Dragon Dawn Productions is a cooperative dungeon crawler for up to six players. You partake in a variety of scenarios in which you explore and attempt to survive the labyrinth of the insectoid god. So, how do you win? Well, by simply making it out alive. Mechanically speaking, this game is card driven with a heavy reliance on a roundel. Roundel, rondel, means a wheelie thing, right? Um, so on your turn, you'll take control of a unique character and they'll have their own special abilities and they're indeed their own deck of cards. On your turn to perform actions, you're going to use action points that are allocated to each character. And these will do things like moving, charging, putting cards back in your hand, attacking, etc. There's a whole host of them, but they all come from a, a roundel, a wheel, um, which you and your co-party, co-people um, share and work around together. Um, so the interesting part is, you know, if you want to move further around the wheel from where you started, that will cost you action points. So you can see how it's important here to determine where you're spending your points, because your points can also be used to enhance your actions. Combat doesn't come from dice, it comes from a deck of cards. Um, and the monsters themselves actually have their own roundel, um, so you can see what actions they might be performing next. Hence a lot of this game is spent considering your actions and planning, just because so much information is readily available. Okay, so similar games to Perdition's Mouth, Abyssal Rift. This is the point where I think everyone's gonna expect me to talk about Gloomhaven, and the truth is I'm not going to. These are very different games and scratch very different itches. And just because they're both dungeon crawlers, I don't think every dungeon crawler in the world needs to be compared to Gloomhaven. Um, these do very different things. Um, so I'd rather compare this game to something like the old Diablo video game, where you were delving down through the dark into these layers of horror, or even a Hackmaster role-playing campaign. Unsurprisingly, this is a rather large game and setup is rather busy, but it is very well marked. The rulebook is at home, but it does have plenty of things to cover, and we found it to be very well laid out and really easy to understand. It takes about 30 minutes for two of us to play a scenario, but you are encouraged to play multiple scenarios as you delve further into the dungeon. Replayability wise, there is a treasure trove of scenarios here, tons and tons and tons of them. And if you happen to get the deluxe edition like I did, you get additional maps, an additional character, and some additional scenarios. Aesthetics wise, Perdition's Mouth, the Abyssal Rift had gone for that gritty, gory horror vibe. The maps are blood splattered and littered with all sorts of creepy things. Um, this is really reflected in the monsters and the models you come across where you meet things like nests and bone swarms and chitins etc all in their icky glory. Overall the component quality in here is exceptional and there's plenty of things too. Opening this board game box really is a treat. So what's so special about this game? I think it actually has to be the models. And I'm not normally one who's very into minis with their games. You know, I can do without them. I, I don't really care. But the ones in this are really spectacular. They're made of a really good plastic. They're very well detailed. And it's the first time since like War Machine Second Edition where I was mildly tempted to paint something. And I think if you enjoy minis, then these are going to really be right up your street. So how do I really feel about Pear Edition's Mouth Abyssal Rift? Firstly, the negatives. I have to admit that I didn't find this game particularly compelling. The characters you play are all incredibly generic. The little bit of a story you get in your campaign cards don't really relate to your characters that often or really what you're doing. Um, they don't help the experience at all. And then of course the, the goal is just to keep getting from map to map. Um, and I'm not one for theme. I can totally live without it, but I couldn't find reasons why I would want to continue playing this. It just felt a little soulless. The second issue I had um, is the fact that when you kill monsters, you don't get anything. You don't get any coin, you don't get any experience, which ended up with us um, having, like the point was we dodged monsters because they, want, they weren't worth our time to kill them. And instead we're rushing our way to the next map. 
um, which is really disappointing because I wanted to interact with these awesome models and these cool monsters and instead the game just turned into an exercise of running from one corner of the map to another. Um, I'd really hoped for a little bit more than that. Okay so the positives. I love how easy it is to set up this game and to play it. The fact that it comes with a whole host of maps, and there are a lot of maps I assure you, means that you can play it quickly and often. Not to mention the fact that this is a very mechanically robust game and one that allies itself really with Euro style gaming. So this is pretty unique actually territory for a dungeon crawler. And while on the one hand, I wonder about removing all of the random elements, are you taking away some of the fun? The fact that they've gone this route leaves you with a very considered puzzle. This isn't a dungeon crawler you just hack and slash your way through. This is one you really have to think about and decide what the optimum moves are. Do I think you should have Paradition's Mouth Abyssal Rift in your collection? Honestly, I don't think this game is for everybody. However, if you do enjoy dungeon crawlers and you're looking for something um, a little bit more considered perhaps, or you enjoy games with beautiful miniatures, or you like the horror theme and where it's taking you, then I think you should probably check this game out. It's certainly different. You've been watching Board Game Inquisition. If you've got any comments or queries you'd like to make about Paradition's Mouth, Abyssal Rift, why not leave them in the comments below? I'd really like to hear from you. Or if you'd like to do something nice, why not like or subscribe to the channel or tell a friend I exist, spread the word. And until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions, and of course, perusing my collection. Take care.